Hello, and welcome to another video introduction to my articles. My name is Doug Schoon, and I'm an internationally known scientist working in the beauty industry. Thank you for joining me. This is the third in a series of videos that I will be releasing over the coming weeks and months. These videos will introduce a magazine article or a special topic for your consideration. At the end of each video, you'll be directed to a web link where you can find the magazine article that will provide much more information than this brief introduction. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I write articles for magazines all around the world, and unless you happen to subscribe to that particular magazine, you might never see the article. So I thought it would be important to create a single location where salon professionals can find these articles and share them with others. That's the point to spread this information around the world. So please help by sharing what you've learned with other salon professionals. You'll be helping the entire industry if you do. Now people sometimes ask me where the inspiration comes from for my articles. Often the ideas come from nail technicians themselves. For example, when I was lecturing at the Premier Beauty Show in Orlando, Florida in 2008, I had a very interesting discussion with a nail technician about the myths and misunderstandings related to UV gel nails. During our discussion, this nail technician came to realize that a large percentage of the service breakdown problems she was experiencing were caused by improper curing. With this realization and new information, she was able to solve her problems and start making money instead of doing repairs. This is a common problem around the world. Issues ranging from lifting, to breakage, to discoloration, to bubbles or small pockets, or allergic reactions, all can be ultimately caused by improper curing of UV gel products. So in January 2009, I wrote an article for Professional Beauty Magazine in Australia entitled, Seven Secrets to Curing UV Gel Nails. In this article, you'll learn that there's a very big difference between curing and properly curing. and by understanding this difference, nail professionals are sure to be more successful performing these useful services. This article explains that just because the artificial nail appears to have hardened doesn't mean that it can withstand the rigors of everyday life. Seven Secrets to Curing UV Gel Nails will teach you about the type of UV light used to cure artificial nails and how to ensure your UV lamp is working at peak efficiency. You'll also learn how UV light penetrates into the enhancements to cause curing and why a sticky layer forms on the surface, as well as how to minimize the problem. But most importantly, this article explores one of the biggest misconceptions in the nail industry related to these systems. That misconception is about the wattage of UV lamps. You'll learn that it is impossible for nail professionals to judge a UV lamp by its wattage. In fact, it's ridiculous to even try, because wattage isn't important. Yet this misunderstanding causes nail technicians around the world to waste tremendous amounts of time and lose a lot of money fixing nail problems that could have been avoided. Improper curing is also one of the top reasons why clients and nail technicians sometimes develop adverse skin reactions to UV gel products, and it can also contribute to a condition called onycholysis, which is the medical term for when the nail plate becomes separated from the nail bed. If your service menu includes UV gel nails, or you're considering adding them to your offering, this is an article you should read. The information presented in Seven Secrets to Curing UV Gel Nails will help you avoid costly and time-consuming repairs, and even more importantly, will help prevent and protect clients from developing skin irritation or allergic reactions. I hope you enjoy reading the article. In a few moments, a link will appear that will lead you to its location. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you all again soon.